Hi guys, I am Vinayak from Center for Nonlinear Computational Solutions. I welcome you to this third tutorial of uh, JAXB. Uh, if you are coming directly to this particular video, I would recommend you to watch our first two videos so that you will get this content better. The links are given in the description uh, so that you can go there and check out those uh, two videos. In those uh, two videos, I have covered what is uh, basics about basically basics about JAXB, what is JAXB, what is marshalling process, what is unmarshalling, how to accomplish a simple XML uh, document and uh, how to basically play with uh, JAXP. So in today's tutorial, we are going to see uh, an example uh, where we will be creating an XML which contains list of objects and how to incorporate uh, that list uh, into XML, how to take care of it, uh, how to create those objects and uh, at the end how to create that object into XML, everything uh, of it. So without wasting much time, let us start. Before actually going to code, um, I would like to show you the actual XML which we will be creating today. You can see uh, in this particular XML, uh, school will be the uh, root element of this XML. Then we have two tags, school location and school name. And then uh, we have students as a, a list of student. So in these students, we have three students, one, two and uh, three, uh, that is uh, John, Johnny and Johnson. Here you can see the ID is two repeated for two times, but uh, that's okay because we are not checking any uniqueness here. We are just uh, randomly giving values. So uh, that's it. Uh, we, have, we, are, we will be uh, able to create. Uh, this particular XML or this type of XML which contains list of objects uh, at the end of this tutorial. So without wasting much time, let us take a deep dive into the coding part of it. I'm using the, uh, before continuing, I would like to tell you, uh, I'm using the same uh, project as I have used for uh, uh, previous uh, two videos. Uh, today uh, the difference is I have tweaked some of the code so that uh, we will be uh, catering the uh, uh, for uh, the least part of this XML. So the main difference which you can see that now the student class is no more uh, root element. So I have removed at the rate uh, root XML root element at uh, annotation from this class. And now school is uh, having uh, at the rate root element annotation because now you uh, can see the school is uh, the root of uh, the XML. Now, uh, uh, we'll continue to uh, uh, see what the code is and we'll see how to proceed and how to uh, first create JAXB uh, POJO objects so that uh, then we can see how to test, test it. Uh, one important part here is I have, if you can see, I have created this public school as a blank constructor here. Uh, in any JAXB creation, even though we are not using uh, this particular uh, constructor uh, for creating object, it is mandatory that we have to create this blank constructor uh, to have successful implementation of JAXB. So whenever you will cre uh, create a POJO class for your JAXB object, don't forget to create a blank constructor. Now in this particular school, I have three attributes, student list, that's what we have seen in our XML. Then uh, we have school name and location. Now uh, I would like to first again go to our XML. You can see, uh, just uh, concentrate on uh, this part of XML. Here you can see we have students as a tag and this student's tag contains list of student and each student is in the tag student itself. So student tag is started, student tag is ended and this whole list is under students tag which is ending with students tag. So accomplish this particular behavior, we are 
using two uh, annotations first is x at the rate xml element wrapper in the comment i have written what it does at the rate xml uh, element wrapper generates wrapper element around our xml so this particular at the rate excel xml element wrapper uh, and the name is given student so you can see the students as a wrapper is created around our list and at the end uh, we want uh, name for our tag in the list so our list contains a list of students and our list is having each individual element as students so the name would obviously be uh, students so i have uh, created element name as students so whatever at uh, name you are giving uh, for at the rate X xml element uh, for uh, this type of problem that is this type of list Uh, you will get this p particular name in each and every object so just for uh, example here student is coming in each of the tag this is because i have given at the rate xml attribute to the uh, at the rate xml attribute uh, name as student so uh, uh, our student list can be uh, generated then uh, simple uh, uh, school name and school location uh, those are simple fields uh, uh, the same as what we did in our previous uh, tutorial now let us go to school uh, the, let us go to student uh, dot java now here there is a difference as now uh, xml root element is removed and xml type element uh, we have introduced so here you can see i have written prop order equal to name and standard uh, so this particular uh, this particular xml uh, type is written for uh, the behavior which i am showing you first here you can observe for all three students uh, you can see the uh, uh, complete ordering of uh, tags first name is coming and then standard is coming name is coming and then standard is coming and this is repeated uh, this is constant for a complete list uh, why it is so because i have defined in such a way that uh, i have uh, told uh, jaxby that the order should be name first and then standard so whatever order you define here in that order only uh, that will come so here you can see xml attribute then here it is xml element and the uh, xml element name and xml element standard uh, which is uh, pretty much the same which we have used in our last video so uh, this is the pojo part of the jaxby uh, and yes now we can move to test part of it so you can see um, as uh, uh, we have discussed this in previous video any jaxby class is uh, created uh, with the help of jaxby cont uh, any jaxby uh, framework uh, is run with the help of jaxby context so first create a instance uh, for jaxby context and here this time i have given uh school reference to it so school dot you can see in first line uh, uh school dot class uh, is uh, uh, gi uh given in the parameter so that our object to uh, this particular jaxby uh, class that is uh, particularly here object to convert uh, is created with the help of this to school dot class so that our jaxby is knowing that uh, yes uh the xml operation is going to be done with the help of this class then we are creating marshaller here what is marshaller marshaller is a process uh, or processor it will process uh, object into xml so at, uh, we are uh, giving input as object and we will be getting output as xml file then we are uh, creating list of students so for that we have to create students first so i have created three students student first student second student and third student uh, with uh, just uh, id name and standards of those students and added all these three students to array list now the this part is important here i have created a school object Uh, you can see uh, school equal to new school where i have passed this array list students then uh, the uh, location of the uh, school that is new pal school new york and the 
नेम सॉरी दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द स्कूल एंड देन द लोकेशन ऑफ द स्कूल न्यू पार्ट्स एंड देन वी आर मार्शलिंग इट वॉट इज मार्शलिंग एज आई हैव सेड वी आर जस्ट कन्वर्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन टू एक्स एम एल सो वी हैव स्कूल ऑब्जेक्ट रेडी विथ अस सो दैट स्कूल ऑब्जेक्ट इज पास थ्रू दिस मार्शलर एंड वी आर गेटिंग आउटपुट इन द डिफाइंड डिरेक्टरी विच इज दिस डिरेक्टरी एंड द एक्स एम एल फाइल नेम विल बी स्कूल डॉट एक्स एम एल so that's it that is pretty much uh, what we want so after just right clicking run as java application uh, the code will run you can see the code is uh, uh, completed uh, its uh, implementation and now we we you, we can see that uh, school.xml is generated so just right click and edit this and yes our uh, file has been generated so here you can see the school location is given new pals school name is uh, new pals school uh, new york and the list of student uh, list of student so that's it uh, this uh, so in today's tutorial we learned how to incorporate for uh, list list of objects in our xml and how to uh, take care uh, when uh, uh, the Uh, when uh, it is not just a simple list uh, such as int or string when it is list of objects itself uh, that is uh, that particular uh, list contains uh, 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 java object in itself then how to take care of it uh, how to have nested uh, uh, how to have uh, ob class object uh, only as a attribute of class and how to take care uh, of that uh, when uh, we are dealing with xml so that's it uh, in next video uh, we will uh, see uh, some more uh, complex operations uh, where we will have sub tags uh, some more sub tags of uh, this particular uh, Uh, uh in in list only we uh, might have some more subclass and uh, in list uh, we might have some uh, more uh, list and all so but uh, this is pretty much uh, uh, what it is uh, so once uh, we are done with this uh, there can be any uh, permutation combinations and with this basic knowledge uh, we can be uh, uh, in position to uh solve or uh, to cater for any uh, complex situation which we can be uh, as far as jacks be is concerned so as always uh, thanks for watching the video and thank you very much